Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeeG69, welcome back to channel. Today we're going to be looking at the IS-2 uh, Berlin. Uh, it is a Russian premium tank and it is back for sale. I think it's like 5,000 gold. It really isn't nothing, uh, the, the tank isn't nothing special. Uh, but to be honest, 5,000 gold for a tier, tier 7 heavy tank is not bad. It's not bad, but it's almost pretty much identical to uh, the Tech Tree IS. So if you've got the IS and you, and you do play it quite a bit, and you have a spare 5,000 gold, um, then I would probably recommend this tank because it's quite cheap, makes nice credits, much nicer credits than the Tech Tree um, IS. Um, but for me, I, I don't play this tank. I mean, I prefer, if anything, I prefer the IS to uh, the Chinese version, because again, it's almost the same, but you can choose whether you want the 100 millimeter or you can choose whether you want the, the 122. Um, so mainly for that reason, uh, I prefer the IS-2 and I've already got the tank, I've had it quite a, a long time and it's not a bad tank, it's, it's just a standard IS. Um, that makes nice credits. I mean, playing this tank to get the footage, I actually, I was quite impressed with the accuracy. Um, I've hit most of my shots and a lot of them I didn't really have to aim. So this battle, we're on 2,000 damage. Nothing special. I mean, we got three three replays. Shots like that, I mean, normally on Russian heavies, that would either go miles over or it would just donk on the floor. Um, but I seem to be hitting quite a lot of these shots. So I don't know whether that's just RNG or if that's actually the accuracy is not actually too bad on, on this tank. So we're almost done. We're just going to wait for the STRV to take out this SU any moment now. And we end up on 2,600 damage. So nothing special. Uh, average damage, just above average damage. Uh, but we get a first uh, second class and we do end up with 74,000 credits. So I don't think that's bad for uh, an average game. Um, so moving on, we've got two more battles. And again, these are both average. Uh, this time we are on Rockfield and we're going to go left. The enemy have one medium, one light tank. We've got two medium tanks. It is supremacy. So we're going to go left. We're not going to push all the way left because now the enemy are capping B and they're capping it quite quick. We've already spotted the uh, J Panther and he definitely can't be on that cap on his own because that is going up very, very quickly. And I think he's actually with uh, a T20. So we get one shot on him, again, nice shot. Uh, this battle, we get a few nice shots, but then again, we miss a few, uh, a few shots that should ha really uh, have hit. Like this, no problem penning him whatsoever. We bring him down to a one shot, but now we do have to be careful because my keys have just fell out my pocket. Um, we do have to be careful because there is tanks around the, the spawn area. And I mean, shots like that, um, yeah, we, we, we still hit him. Uh, we did hit the gun, unfortunately or the gun around the gun area, so we couldn't uh, penetrate him. And now we are getting shot from the team that are around by the spawn area. And again, donk shots like that. And I wanted to take that shot because I've been hitting them shots uh, all, all day long. So I wanted to take it and it's, uh, it made me think maybe it is just RNG uh, because it is a Russian heavy after all. You can't expect too good of an accuracy but then again, you get snapshots like that that go in. So it's a hit and miss with this tank. And to be honest, it's the same with almost any Russian heavy tank or any Russian tank. Sometimes you'll have that games where the RNG and the accuracy just absolutely seem so good. And in other games, you hate it because the accuracy is so bad. Uh, so it's just a hit and miss. Uh, but as I've said, for the, the, the price of, of the tank is... It's not bad for a tier 7 tank. If you're a collector, then I would probably go for the tank. Uh, if you if you play tier 7 a lot and you like your Russian heavies, uh, again, I would probably go for the tank. But if you don't often play tier 7, if you've got the IS or even the Chinese IS-2, then this tank really is probably not worth getting. Uh, because you've, it's just if you've got the IS and the IS-2 and this, you've got three almost identical tanks so it's just pointless it really is just pointless having said that 
having said that, I own a T34 and a T34 Independent, which are both exactly the same tank. I own an IS6 and an IS6 Fearless. Again, both exactly the same tank. So back then I used to be a collector. I used to love collecting premium tanks. Uh, now not so much, uh, but people still do. People still do. So if you are gonna buy this tank, it's, it's, it's not bad. You're not getting a bad tank for quite a good price, to be honest. Lovely credit earner, as you can see, 3,000 damage there, 95,000 credits. We only get one kill, uh, but one kill is enough for to finish uh, with 3,000 damage. So in tier six, this thing can really bounce uh, some shots. In tier eight, you're probably not gonna bounce half as many, and you might need your premium ammo. Um, but that's, again, that is just the standard how it is the tier below, if, especially in a heavy. Uh, the mediums in tier six and the light tanks will sometimes have to shoot Pramo. Uh, don't know how that shot on that M6 went through, um, but we are on desert sands now. And again, it is supremacy and it is a tier six. Well, there's one tier six. So we are capping uh, base C or we've capped base C and we have some mediums capping base A. So most of the enemy tanks now have been spotted around this area. There's four, Four tanks here, the M6 is now gone, and there is two TDs sitting at the back of these. Uh, so we don't want to poke out yet because these TDs are quite uh, big guns. We won't really want to focus this Tiger P, something that has good um, a good gun, good armor, uh, good rate of fire. So we really need to take him out. And he made a vital error there in poking out. Now I could just poke forward. I don't mind taking 184 damage to take the kill. So now I'm going to push forward a little bit because I've got my Tiger P to my left. I'm trying to be weary of the TDs, um, but now we can get behind this T29. We can load the HE 489 damage. So now we are about to take out the T29 very soon. Uh, the Vindicator takes out our T20 and I'll make a stupid mistake here. I shoot a wall. I shoot a wall, um, but it's now five against three. Nice bounce there from the Vindicator. The Vindicator hasn't got the greatest uh, penetrations. It's pretty much like an, an ugly version of an SU-152. So we can just get to the side of him. Uh, we shoot him once and now we're just going to hopefully leave how team to deal with him while I'm on a reload. I was going to go search for this last medium who has cap base A. So I know he's alive and we now just need to find him. And luckily enough for us, he starts capping base A. B. So it is the Firefly. Uh, we're not worried about a tier 6 Firefly in a tier 7 Heavy. Um, we can get some bounces. We've still got five left alive, so I'm just going to go forward. I'm going to go for the Ram, and that is pretty much all we're going to do. So that battle, we block 1,000 damage, 2,800, and I think we make about 50, 60,000 credits. So that is the IS-2 Berlin. Uh, again, not a bad tank, average tank, just a standard IS. If you are a collectible, then 5,000 gold is not really too bad. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm EG69, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.